The Atlantic Ocean has exploded with activity in a matter of days as Hurricane Hillary had our attention. Now that Hillary has downgraded to a post-tropical cyclone as it continues pushing inland, we can slowly shift our attention to what's going on over the Atlantic. The current map of cyclones and disturbances is quite chaotic, so in this video I'm going to break it all down so you know what to expect. Let's start off with this system in the Gulf of Mexico. This tropical disturbance is up to an 80% chance of development within the next 48 hours. Take a look at this rainfall map for the next three days. While pretty much all of north and central Texas will be completely missed by this storm, southern Texas and especially deep south Texas look to get multiple inches of rainfall. Areas in the purple may see as much as 2 or 3 inches of rain, with 4 to 6 inches of rain in these red shades. The system is currently located in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico, and rainfall may begin impacting southern Texas as early as today. The real impacts from this storm will move in on Tuesday, which is when we have the slight risk of excessive rainfall in place. Places like Brownsville and McAllen, Texas are at the greatest risk for flooding. Thankfully, even though this system will bring at least a small risk of flooding, the relatively fast-moving nature of this storm will keep it a lower threat. Moving on to the next tropical system, we have Franklin south of Hispaniola Island. This system has most of my attention right now. Satellite imagery is showing a very well-organized and healthy system with robust convection ongoing. The forecasted track for Franklin shows it taking an abrupt turn northward between Monday night into Tuesday morning, bringing it on a collision course with the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Tropical storm warnings are already in effect along the southern coast of the island with tropical storm watches for the northern Dominican Republic. Landfall looks to occur somewhere along central Hispaniola on Tuesday afternoon. The storm will move northward as we head into Wednesday and Thursday before further intensification into a hurricane by the end of the week. Some weather models do show Franklin impacting the island of Bermuda in some way by next week, but since that is still pretty far down the line, there shouldn't be any cause for concern yet. I think the biggest risk with Franklin in the near term will be widespread heavy rain leading to flooding. The key messages from the National Hurricane Center state the following. Heavy rainfall from Franklin is expected across portions of Puerto Rico and Hispaniola through the middle of this week. Heavy rainfall may produce areas of flash flooding as well as river rises and mudslides. Across Hispaniola, significant and potentially life-threatening flash flooding is possible Tuesday into Wednesday. Next up, we have Tropical Storm Gertz, another system which seemingly showed up out of nowhere. This system is barely holding on to Tropical Storm status this Monday morning, and it will likely degrade to a depression by Monday afternoon before completely fizzling out by Monday night. Because of this, I'm not expecting any threat from this storm. We also have Emily, which is slightly further east. In Emily's case, we expect it to lose tropical storm status today as well and degrade to a post-tropical cyclone by tonight. This system will not threaten any land. And lastly, we have Invest 92L in the main development region with a 70% chance of development within the upcoming week. While this storm does have a chance at becoming a strong tropical storm or even hurricane, thankfully most model guidance right now is showing it staying out to sea. And that will conclude this forecast. If you enjoyed this tropical update, make sure you subscribe. The tropics can change just as quickly as these storms seemingly came out of nowhere, so make sure you stay tuned to this channel for further updates.